So uh, today we will be checking out the uh, plugin that's the Magento 2 multi vendor marketplace multi shipping plugin and as we know that providing your customers uh, with the option of selecting the shipping uh, method according to the sellers in the marketplace is an essential feature as this uh, benefits the buyers as well as the sellers in a whole lot of a different way. So using this particular plugin would now assist the sellers to allow different shipping methods for their products. The buyers would be able to select from the different shipping services uh, from the different sellers within the same order. Kindly note that this particular plugin is an add-on to uh, the Magento 2 multi vendor marketplace uh, by Webpool and uh, you must have installed uh, one of uh, the uh, shipping methods by uh, Magento 2 marketplace that you can check within the uh, uh, user guide that I have attached in the description below of this particular uh, plugin. So you'll have to have any one of that particular uh, Magento 2 multi vendor marketplace shipping uh, uh, what we say as the plugin before making use of this multi shipping plugin. So you can go with the table rate UPS uh, or per, uh, country per shipping. So for more details you can check the user guide there itself. So I'll just be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront and as you can see that I've already logged into my account and I'm at the uh, uh, checkout right now and here I've chosen my address. I have two different products of two different sellers in the cart and under the shipping methods here you can see that we have the web tools multi shipping uh, method visible to the customer and one of the products are is of uh, John Doe, that's the marketplace vendor, and one is of the uh, marketplace admin himself. So that's the low for men's shoe, this one, and the first one is the, of the marketplace vendor. Now the customers can basically uh, uh, choose uh, what we say as, uh, would be now able to select from different shipping services uh, from different sellers in the same order. So here you can see that the uh, John Doe is providing these four different uh, shipping methods for his product blue code and the same goes for the admin he also is providing around four shipping methods for his product that's the low firm and shoe. So now the customers have this option to choose any of them as per their requirement and can then proceed further to place the order. So before proceeding further and showing you the rest of the uh, flow there from uh, placing the order and then the vendors end then the marketplace admins end uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video then do give it a thumbs up so now uh, for the shipping method uh, for my two uh, products in the cart I'll be choosing the same so let's assume I choose webcool marketplace per product shipping and for the admin uh, let's choose uh, webcool's uh, fixed rate shipping and then uh, the customer just needs to tap here in the next button uh, so as to go to the uh, payment method uh, selection and then he'll have to tap here on the place order button and under the order summary here you can see the shipping method that has been selected uh, that's the webcool's uh, multi-shipping uh, by webcool and here you can see the total cost of the shipping is uh, ten dollars the order has been placed now let's check the uh, order history so here's the order number 72 and here are the two different products and here's the shipping that's ten dollars now under the shipping method the customer would uh, see the web pools multi shipping that's the heading that the admin has set up from the back end panel uh, that's the web pool multi shipping web pool multi shipping now uh, that's how the customers can select uh, different shipping methods for different uh, uh, vendor products in the card now uh, after that now let me show you the rest of the procedure for the same so now let's uh, let me take you the vendor uh, account so uh, I'll just go to the vendor account and now I'll be showing you how the vendors would be able to set up the marketplace multi shipping uh, for the Magento 2 platform based marketplace so here you can see that uh, I'm uh, on the left hand side I have this uh, marketplace vendor block so the marketplace vendor just needs to navigate to the manage multi shipping option that uh, he gets after the successful installation of this uh, product from the admin back in the, there and here he'll be able to choose his uh, allowed shipping methods and from here the marketplace vendor can choose any of the shipping methods that he want to enable for his products and the same would then be visible at the time of uh, selection of the shipping uh, to the customer so uh, two different sellers uh, two different uh, shipping methods provided by each and the shipping uh, ones that have been provided customer can easily choose any one of them as per their requirement for both of the sellers there. 
so the uh, marketplace uh, vendor just needs to add uh, the or to he needs to select the large shipping under the manage multi shipping option here and uh, he's done configuring uh, the multi shipping option for the, his own customers and after selecting this uh, but before that uh, the marketplace vendor needs to set up his uh, shipping settings so uh, before setting up or choosing the uh, multiple shipping methods uh, under this section uh, the marketplace window needs to navigate to the shipping setting here this option on the left hand side panel for the account uh, options for the marketplace and here uh, the seller set needs to set up the origin address so it's the shipping origin set uh, address he'll be entering the details here as you can see so uh, the address that you've entered here uh, would uh, basically be used to calculate the shipping charges as per the distance from the destination and uh, kindly note if you have already added the shipping details under shipping settings in any one of the shipping modules then there's no need to add it again here so uh, you'll have to enter your company name your phone number the street address of your store the city state zip code and the country and then just tap here on the save button to save your shipping settings then come back uh, to the manage multi shipping section here choose the ones uh, that you want to allow for your product and uh, these multiple uh, shipping methods would then be visible to your customers at the checkout time now these would be available uh, when the admin has set that up from the plugins uh, back in configuration so now after this uh, let's uh, go to the admin back end panel and let's see how the uh, market base admin would be able to set up this particular plugin uh, before making use of the same within the marketplace itself so uh, let me log out of my vendor account and uh, we'll be logging into the admin backend panel now. So here I'm at the uh, Magento 2 multi vendor marketplace uh, plugins backend uh, and I'll be entering my username and password for the uh, backend panel. And then we'll be logging into our account and we'll be checking the dashboard. So to log in, we'll have this dashboard. Now to make the initial configuration settings for the multi shipping for the multi vendor marketplace itself for the Magento 2 based uh, marketplace uh, the admin after the successful installation needs to navigate to stores and then uh, configuration under the settings and on the uh, configuration page he'll have to navigate to the sales section under that he'll have to go uh, to the shipping uh, methods so I'll just tap that up this brings up the complete list of uh, shipping methods uh, available uh, to the admin and here we'll just go to our uh, section uh, that's the uh, webcools market based multi shipping uh, uh, plugin so here we have the webcools market based multi shipping so uh, to enable this particular uh, functionality or the uh, marketplace multi shipping uh, functionality the admin needs to mark this uh, enable for checkout option as a yes otherwise to disable choose a no uh, then the admin can set up the title visible to the customers at the time of checkout this is the same that we just show uh, at the storefront uh, for the customer workflow then you'll be able to set up the method title you can choose to show the price uh, there uh, seller wise as we were checking we could uh, see the seller wise uh, price uh, for uh, the different shipping methods uh, for the respective sellers there you can also make uh, it as show price as product wise as per your own requirement there and uh, you can also choose uh, whether to show the method if it's not applicable so if it, the method is not applicable for an address there uh, do you want to show it or not you can choose a yes otherwise choose a no uh, for that thereafter you just need to tap here on the uh, save configuration button uh, to complete the initial configuration settings for this particular Magento 2 Multimedia Marketplace multi shipping plugin from the admins backend panel. Uh, so, this is the list of uh, shipping plugins uh, that needs to be any one of them should be uh, installed uh, by the marketplace admin himself. So, uh, that would allow then the buyers uh, to select the shipping according to the sellers within the same order. So uh, the admin just has to install the shipping add-on from this particular list to manage the shipping then from the vendors panel. So the installed uh, shipping here would then be visible to the uh, marketplace vendors under the own account panel as I've already shown you. And uh, then the sellers can choose uh, the shipping channel which they want to display at checkout uh, so that the shipping would be based on per seller or the vendor instead of the whole cart. 
and uh, this uh, plugin basically would enable the shipping selection and the freight calculation at the vendor level itself so uh, so uh, that was much about the Magento to multi vendor marketplace multi shipping plugin i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do get back to us at support at the or you can also raise a ticket at webcool.uvs.com you can also contact us through www.webcool.com forward slash contact and lastly if you find this particular video then do give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead